Oh, it's what is this now? Gina! <laughs> Gina, what have you got planned? <laughs> when I first watched Sex Education, what struck me about your character were the little, like, punctuations in speech and things like that. There's a, there's a scene. There's plenty more scary bad fish in the sea. In the sea. And I was like, who wrote it? Like, it was so authentic. Those sort of things, those sort of punctuation, little things that Eric does, how much of that is improv from you? How much of that was written for you? How much of yourself did you bring to it? Well, I think, like, the success of Eric, if I may say so, like, it's yeah, definitely 100% down to, like, the, the writers that we've got and Laurie Nunn, like, shout out for writing a, a nuanced gay black character, like, shout out for that. But definitely, I was allowed to ad-lib a lot and, like, kind of change things up a bit. Sex Education very generously gave me that freedom. Yeah. And so I thought, yeah, like, I just thought, I want to make this authentic. Like, I don't want to make it a caricature, but also, like, I want to have fun. And if, like, if Eric was really here, he'd be talking like this. So I'm yeah. gonna make him talk like this. So, like, quite a bit of that was me, but I was very generously allowed to. And like, it was always kind of like a conversation between me and the director. Um, but yeah, I had to bring a bit of culture. Yeah, no, I loved it. I had to bring it a bit of culture. So it would seem that uh, Doctor Who has a new doctor, according to the New York Times today and my phone. Um, Cutie Gatwa is the new Doctor Who. Man, I mean, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that it's a black guy, but... You know, I know that a lot of shit's going on in Hollywood. I know all these people are, like, trying to write and do all this inclusive shit and put all this stuff into film and shows and all this stuff. But it's like, you know, I'm, I, I, I am excited that Russell T. Davis is coming back. But after seeing QT Gatwa in Sex Education and, you know, hearing the interviews that he's done on it and just, you know adding his culture to his roles and to his characters and stuff. It's just like, I don't know. I, with all due respect, I just hope they don't make the show gay. You know, I know I, I, everyone's talking and, and getting on all these shows and movies for doing all this inclusive stuff, and it's true. It's not necessary. It's like, why are you guys just shoving all this in our faces? But it's like the fact that it's plain that this guy is like, you know, he's probably, he would, wouldn't mind. I don't know if he's gay or not. I don't care. But the character he played in in the show was gay. So it's like the fact that he will be the first black man to just play the character doesn't mean that he won't also be the first gay black man to play the character, which is there's nothing wrong with. But I'm just saying, I hope they don't make the doctor gay. Please don't make the doctor gay. Like, they already tried making her a lesbian with Yaz, the plank, with, and you know, and Jody. And it's like, the fact that they're going to try to just swap over to a black man is just like, wow. Like, you know, are you going to have white companions? Are you going to have black companions? Because it's just going to be weird either way now. If you, want, if you try to put any sexual tension in there, it's just going to be weird. And then the, he seems more like a companion. He reminds me of Mickey. He just reminds me of, like, this cool black dude that could be in the show but maybe not the doctor you know i don't know like it's it's unfortunate but I, I i you know so many people would rather just have an original style doctor you know some people want david Tennant back peter capaldi back people want styles of colin baker and tom baker you know troton hartnell like there's mccoy they want like some witty guy like it's just it's just very interesting the way that they're 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 it's just interesting uh, that's all i'm gonna say you know the the fact that the rings of power is being is not looking too good right now you know with all the the inclusivity they're trying to throw in there it's just like all right well i guess if this is if doctor who is meant to crash and burn maybe this is how it's going to crash and burn i don't know but you know as of today and you know qt gatwa will be the 14th doctor so i don't know we'll 
We'll see how it goes. Which is interesting, too, because, you know, Christopher Eccleston just released, you know, the whole Doctor Returning to Earth audio drama, whatever. So it's like, why? Like, it's just, it's just so weird, you know? It's very interesting. But, again... Nothing against gays. Hopefully it helps to just allow, if it is, if he is like a kind of a, you know, f- gay feminine man, hopefully he just shows the other gay men that they can just be men. They don't have to be women. They don't have to be trans. I mean, it's just a thought. But if that's really how they're going to go and do it, you know, like I said, at least I'm, I- I'm glad he's black. That It, it should be interesting. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this has been Ghost on the Craig. And, you know, I'll see y'all in the TARDIS. One day... I shall come back. Yes, I shall come back. Until then, there must be no regrets, no tears, no anxieties. Just go forward in all your beliefs and prove to me that I am not mistaken in mine. Goodbye, Susan. Goodbye, my dear.